back with December Daily Fun. So, I did one of my prompts from Defemarember, which was Fluff and Mason Jar. I was struggling to, about how to continue forward with this and uh, basically decided that I was just going to go with the flow and follow my heart and use um, these little prompts and then um, store them in my Define Marimba book that my cousin made me. And so back here is where my... Um, mason jar is going to go and I didn't really add a lot of fluff but here's Santa's fluffy beard <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll write some fluff back here <laughs> we'll see so that's number one um, I'm still working on my little houses adding things here and there um, I thought I was gonna put the prompts in here but I don't think I am now I think this is just gonna be a separate project so I'm up to, I've only got five, so I need to work on day six. But right now I thought it'd be fun to work on um, a couple more of these prompts and then I'll come back with the houses later. So today, up to today, we have splatters and a playing card, bright color, a journaling card, recycled art and a coin envelope, number, sentiment, and a ticket, and feathers or a bingo card. So I'm going to work on two and three. If I don't get them both done, that's fine. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are having fun. I know sometimes this season is overwhelming and then adding on an art challenge can seem overwhelming. And I finally realized, okay, I don't need to make this so complicated. I just need to do what's fun for me and not uh, worry about everything else. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, playing card. Did you do? And I'm also um, kind of going to just use what's on my desk because I didn't uh, plan this very well. But I already have this playing card right here. Oh, I like this one. <clears throat> it's already got some stuff on it. Um, let's take that off. These are just some little snaps. So I'll use them elsewhere. And then it's already got a little topper and it's got um, some word venture venture forth and this is actually a little button i made last year so that'll be fun to use this so let's start with that and i am going to put the prompts on the um, card i think somehow so yeah let's just put that on there Thinking maybe I will glue this to a piece of something cardstockish. This isn't cardstock, but just gluing it to something else will make it a little bit more sturdy. So I hope you guys are having a fun December so far, even if it's stressful. Trying to find those moments to relax and do what you enjoy. Actually, I think I'm just going to put the prompt on the back of this because this was already on there. And that way, I don't really need to see it. I just, and I, because I want to be able to see what's on. You know, I want to decorate the card differently. <laughs> I don't want these words on there. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So we know it's a playing card and we will get to splatters. And I haven't been watching a lot of the videos yet, but I have watched a couple of 49 Dragonflies um, Defend Marimba videos. And uh, so basically she came, she came to the realization that, uh, she needs to um, find the page that she's going to store her ephemera in first to make sure it fits. 
and I like that idea. My cousin already has some cool things in here. So I think maybe we'll add this to that. That's cool. That looks good there. All right. So now let's decorate this a little bit. Um, doo -doo -doo. I have some new napkins that I found. I have the grocery store. So I think I will uh, put some of this one. So here they are. Although this Christmas tree would be cool too. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> let's put just a little bit of gesso on the card. Very lightly. I'm using other paper to put my stuff down. And let's get a little brush here. I don't want to get it on. Let me move the book. <laughs> Got too many things going on. Move the book. Okay, so let's just do that to get some good place to put the. napkin on and I'm thinking I want to put a butterfly on each um each page or each thing item I mean they're not pages and then I'm just taking a piece of tape here to peel away the layer I think that'll look really nice. So let's use some matte medium to put that down. Get another brush. And this one looks like I've used it on <laughs> glue. And then I'll just put it on and then I'll some of it off after. It's just okay. Don't want to cover up the booty. <laughs> Can put this underneath a little. There we go. That will dry. Let me get a little bit more of the medium. Put it on top. And then once this dries, you can use a emery board to get this other paper off. Get some of it off now, or to get it more even. But actually, also, <laughs> another way to get it off is just use some water. There we go. I don't have time for this to dry, <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, I kind of like the raggedy edges a little bit. Then let's take a little bit more gesso. about something for the butterfly thing. While that side dries, we will put some something under it so it doesn't stick to the 
paper. And on this side, I have, I decided also to just go with my messy self and not try to over worry about what's on the table. So this has some butterflies on it. I think they'll just kind of go around the edge. What do you guys do to kind of unify when you're doing a daily challenge? Because that's really been my struggle is how to keep it with all my different variety of choices. How can I keep it, um, you know, unified? One way I do that is to use similar, like inking around the edge or stuff like that. But I want to use all my fun things that I've found, right? <laughs> okay, and I like that venture forth. It's a good thing for the second day of December. Like an on day. Whatever, we're on day six. And this is um, the back of one of those um, photos that I've found in California. And it has a little, I made a photocopy of it. Oh, look at there. So two. <laughs> For December 2nd. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, so my one way to do that is to use a similar color palette throughout the whole thing. Um, my choice this year is to do the, um, to do, use the same distress ink around the edges. I got this walnut stamp, which I like. I'm going to go with the torn look. And I'm just going old school and just putting it on right from the ink pad instead of using some kind of other tool today. Okay. And then I get my date stamp. I have it on December 1st, so now we'll go to December 2nd. So I am also going to stamp the date on all of them. And there we go. So that's looking good. Um, that's kind of coming off a little bit. That's okay. Um, and then I think for the splatters, let me make a little bit of room for the splatters. Let's put it on top of this and then we can get splatters on this. The December, December member, I can't ever say that word. Um, their challenge came along with these um, animal vintage animal cards. I haven't used those yet. So, we'll see. <laughs> I kind of like it like this. Just use my own stuff and use those for something else. So, let's get some gold spiders going on here. First of all. <clears throat> and I like, um, well, Barbara from 49 Dragonflies, she likes gold splatters. And then um, Louisa, who's helped, who's the other person that's developed this challenge, Louisa, um, likes to do black and white. So I'll do a little bit of both. Do the gold up here. And then I'll use some of this uh, gesso for the white. Put that more on the and then for black I'll use some of my Liquitex ink Do 
some smaller black spots too. Gold's not showing up a lot, so let's go let this dry a little and add some more gold. I like spiders. Spiders are fun. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And it will dry. It'll be pretty. So there's our day number two, playing card and splatters. We'll let that dry, and it'll go over here in this page when it's dry. So for the second, or the third prompt, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we have time to do that. Um, <coughs> I'm actually going to take one of these out of here, because I think the next one is journaling card. If I can find my prompt again, I probably, you guys probably saw me cover it up. Hmm. That's one disadvantage of the messy approach, but it makes me happy. Here it is. All right, so this one is bright color and journaling card. So on this side, I'm going to put the word this time. And let's see if I can find a bright color to put behind it. I have some, uh, I have some, ooh, that's a pretty bright color. A little... Fresh salmon. How about that? <laughs> and then we can vintage it up with <coughs> the walnut stain. <laughs> One of my favorite bright colors is fuchsia. So I'm tempted to put some of that down too. Let's see, how can I do that? Do I have any fuchsia? Ink. I don't, but you know what? Um, turquoise or blue would look good with, with this color. So let's see if we wanna add some of that. And kind of on the background here. This is kind of glossy, so it'll spread a little bit, but it's okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, and one more. <laughs> okay, that's pretty. And then let's add this little into the back. The other way to add some brightness to this page would be to add some stickers. <laughs> I like stickers. And bright color journaling card. So the other side will be the journaling part. And I have this cute little Santa that I got from a digital kit. So I think I'll put him over here and I can make my wish list. <laughs> kind of have a theme going there with my journaling ideas as to maybe add lists to the pages or something like that. There. So I want to add here. Washi tape. Okay, Santa Claus. <laughs> Ooh, <coughs> I thought of something else that has a bright color on it. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> so we got that, and then we got that on this side. And stickers, I said. So I have this um, sticker book that I made with um, wax paper as the base, so you can add. Um, uh -uh, I like this. This is a little vintage sticker that has uh, an elf and he's repairing a doll. <laughs> so 
if you're careful, you, um, these are older stickers, so they're kind of sticking to the wax paper more than the newer stickers. But put a little bit of glue on the back of them to make sure they don't fall off. And you have your sticker. And then on the other side, we have some bright pink words. <laughs> so let's see. I like this one, things. And I could write a list of things that I want to do or think about for Christmas. So there you go. There's your journaling card. And that's done. So where did my... And then this is still drying. And these will cube together in the journal. So day one, two, and three done. Yay! All right, guys. I'll come back later with more. Have a good day. Bye.